Hey guys, it's CodeZealot, and today we're going to be looking at the game rule command in vanilla Minecraft. Now, we're not going to look at every single thing this command can do because there are so many options. We're just going to look at a few and show you guys how it works, and then you guys can check that out on your own. Or you can look down below in the description where I have a link that has all of the things you need to figure out everything that the game rule command can do. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and type out the game rule command and check out all of those options. So here we are. We have lots of different options that we can use with the game rule command. So let's just go ahead and pick one for now. Let's do this one right here. Do daylight cycle. Now if you look behind my house here, let me get over here. You can see that the sun is actually not really moving. It's stuck where it is. That's because I already have used this game rule on my actual map. So let me show you guys how you can use this to make the sun and the moon stop moving. In other words, you can pretty much pause time with this. So let's do game rule, do daylight cycle, and set this to true. So now that the daylight cycle has been turned back on, time is progressing in my Minecraft world. So the sun is moving and eventually the sun will set and the moon will rise. Now if we go ahead and type that back out and switch it back to false, you'll see that the sun is now stuck where it is. And that means it'll never change time from the time that it is right now in my Minecraft world. This is pretty handy if you're working on a map and you're building and you don't want to have to keep using the time set day command. You just want to make it day for the whole time. Or if you're building something and it needs to be nighttime, like if you're working on a map with a bunch of mob spawners, you can use this and it makes it much, much easier to actually do your work. Okay, so let's check out another example. So I've got some creepers here walking around on my map, and I currently have a game rule set that makes it so these mobs cannot grief. And this applies to all the different mob types in Minecraft. So Endermen also can't walk around and grief things by picking up blocks, just like these creepers can't blow up holes in the ground. But I want to show you guys how this works. So I'm actually going to sacrifice some of my beautiful green grass just for you guys. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's type out game rule. And then I'll just bring those options up in case you guys want to look at that while I'm doing this. And I'm going to type out mob griefing. Now, we want to set this to true. I already have it set to false because I didn't want them blowing up all of my beautiful grass. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that they will do that if I set it to true. So let's do that. And then they have to be able to see me. So I have to go to survival mode. And here we go. Let's pick a fight. And there you go. We have mobs griefing my map. Now, if I do this quickly... I can switch it back. Oh, it's got to hurry. And now this guy will not grief the ground. That's how you can use the game rule with mob griefing. Okay, guys, so another cool thing you can do with the game rule command is you can make it so that when players die, they actually keep their inventory. So to do that, all you have to do is type out game rule, keep inventory, and set that to true. So if I go ahead and use the kill command, kill myself, and then respawn, you'll see that I still have the creeper egg inside of my inventory. Now, I can grab some other blocks here, just get this grass block, and we'll go ahead and grab one of these. And if I do the kill command a second time, you'll see that I am keeping all of those items. So to reset that, it's pretty obvious, you just set this back to false. And now when I kill myself, I'll lose all those items, dropping them on the ground. Oh, there they are. One of the most common things that people use the game rule command for is to turn off the fire spread on a map. So. If I go ahead and put these blocks on fire, all of these blocks are flammable blocks in Minecraft, so they will burn up. Now, as you can see here, the fire is not consuming these blocks, and that's because I've set this game rule already. So let's go ahead and look at it. Let's do game rule, and it's called do fire tick. So if you set this to true, these blocks will in fact start burning up. So they'll start spreading, and all the fire will pretty much take out everything that's nearby. So if you have a fireplace in one of your houses and the fire is really close to some wood blocks, what you can do is you can actually change this game rule and then you'll be able to have a fireplace in your house without burning it down. So that's how this one works. Now, this isn't burning up just yet. I don't know why exactly. Let's give it a little more. Oh, there we go. So I guess the wood has a longer flame uh, burn time. Yeah, so let's do this to the wool. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, anyway, so let's go ahead and reset it, set it back to false. And now we can put as many of these down as we want and put them on fire, and the fire will never spread because we've changed the game rule. 
Okay guys, I'm going to show you one last thing that you can use the game rule command for. So let's go ahead and type it out. And I want to show you guys this thing called random tick speed. So here it is, right here, random tick speed. So what happens is if we type out game rule and then type out random tick speed, it'll show us what it's currently set to, which is the default three. But what we can do with this is we can actually change the number. So if we change this number to something like 20, you'll see that the random tick speed has been updated to 20. Now, you can't really see anything happening right now because we didn't increase it by too much. But you'll tell if you stare at this just long enough that this stuff is growing a lot faster than it usually does in the game. And that's because the normal value is 3 and we've just increased it to 20. Now, what if we do something crazy and bump it up to like 100? Well, check it out. All of these crops are going to go really, really fast. And that's because we've essentially sped up the Minecraft time in the game. So things that work with random ticks, like these uh, crops that are growing, will grow at a much faster rate than they would if you kept it at the default value. And I don't know how high you can set this. I haven't looked it up on the wiki, but let's just go ahead and do something really crazy and see if it works. Doesn't look like it's going to go any... Oh, whoa, there we go. Okay, so it does work. So there you go. I don't know what the maximum value is, but you can definitely set this to a very high value and have it actually run. So let's go ahead and do one last row. And... Yep, there they go. So there you have it. That's the last example we're going to do with the game rule command. Okay guys, as always, thanks so much for checking out this tutorial on Minecraft commands, and I really appreciate your viewership. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button if you appreciated this video, and leave me some constructive criticism down in the comments below. I like to hear things that you guys like, but I also like to hear things that you don't like, so I can keep making better and better videos for you guys as I go along. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video in this series.